Hey everyone, Nicola Russell here, Remembrance Into The Light. Welcome to my YouTube ch channel. It's growing, isn't it? It's growing. It's really wonderful. And I thank everybody, everybody that has clicked that button to say um, that they like my content. It's just every time I get like a number to go up, I'm like, ooh. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much. And if you put that little like button in, thank you again. And any comments, I love reading your comments. Um, and thank you to everybody that has sent me love donations over the last um, months and years and, and all that time. I really do appreciate your support. It helps me um, provide free content for you all. Um, it's important, isn't it? It's, it's, some people will have loads of cash and some people are just, you know, just need to sort of, you know, watch the pennies. So whatever it is, um, you know, I do want to provide... Um, free content for you so I thank you for that um, and if anyone does send me a love donation there is a link below um, if you want to do that um, and I really do appreciate that alternative um, alternatively I have the patreon as well that if you want to have a closer connection with me and get more content on that platform then click the button for patreon with all that said and all that gushy gushiness, I want to come on and have a little chat with you and sort of let you know what's sort of been happening in Nicola's world is that things are really sort of shifted quite drastically. And the real big thing for me is sovereignty of light. It's really becoming more and more and more independent. So yeah, so thank you guys for all um, of everything that you do and and I will continue providing nice free content for you I'm going on live tonight at five o'clock Greenwich um, Mean Time or British Standard Time I should say um, so if you're around that would be wonderful can't believe it's the 15th of April as well um, so I'll be working on different little bits and pieces and I'll let you know as I just said let's get into the video da chiamo Shoban alleluia gloria alleluia okay da dana mau si alleluia gloria alleluia mau si o la mau o la m da gloria alleluia mau Shoban alleluia mau tu umbalo wen ma okay da io lo vado chiamo galo in mau Christo bango elo ma col elo ma coi ma Everything, all potentials are limitless. You are limit, limitless beings, if I can say it, um, that are here. You are creators of your own reality. You can do exactly what you want. You can manifest anything that you want. You are the creator being of your reality, after all. But when you push through the illusion the distortions that keep you in perpetuating cycles and patterns of despair and emotional states, once you do that, you start seeing the other side of the vow and you start going deeper into the fullness of the identification of the oneness, the sovereignty of light that you are. <laughs> it's true. It's true. You keep pushing through these bandwidths of illusional um, discrepancies in your field and you start opening up a little bit deeper inside of yourself and holding more light within your energy and then you start then pushing through and getting more information, more understanding, more refinement. Come on guys, follow me. It is that, isn't it? It's about pushing through everything that is stopping you. When you see it, you feel it. Do you want to play in it? No! Let's move on, shall we, universe? It is about the expansion out of the illusion, out of the blueprint that you created to come in. Once you've cleared all that stuff up, you go deeper and you great gain that momentum into the remembrance of your light. It's really simple when you push through your boundaries and your barriers to get through to the other side. It's there for you all. Not just for me. Not just for a little old me. For you too. And it's so important for you to recognise that. Okay? And all of these codes that I bring forward for you... If they resonate, take them, in, invite them in, 
but see for yourself how it makes you feel. See what happens as these codes come in. See that mindset adjustment with the understanding. Push through everything that is blocking your system to see your light. It's imperative to do so, guys, because on the other side, on the other side, it's beautiful. Everything becomes more clearer. Everything becomes more in flow. Everything becomes the way it is, the way you want it to be and not a belief system, not a programming, none of that stuff will matter anymore because you're pushing through the illusion. So that brings some codes in to assist you with that understanding. It starts in the heart. You need to look at the mind, yes, but it is the recognition to see the spark with inside of yourself that will push through, push through the illusion of ego, the identification that stops you free, seeing the freedom within. So it is to focus in the heart. And it is to see that you are healthy, that you are wealthy, that you are wise, and that all of those aspects of the self are fully in alignment to slot in, to bring in into the now moment, a deepening of the now, the presence of being with health, with abundance of wealth and that of wise, higher mind, wisdom, intuitive understanding of yourself, okay? Your physical body health, your mental body health, your emotional health, all aspects, all start to slot in that it will give you the freedom. Thank you. Okay, so we've got some codes for you. They are coming through. I just really wanted you to know. It is about those aspects of health, wealth and wisdom. That. So focus into the heart and see a spark of light. And see around you the light that needs to come in, but it needs to force its way through all that illusion, like a barrier. But just let the barriers down and see within the light igniting even brighter. Illuminating the way. For all your answers lay inside. It is a reflection that is outside of you. You go inside to build up what this is out here so you go inside it is not this it is this it's the inner world the deepening of the inner world Mm. So breathe in that light into your heart and centre it and anchor it down into the body all the way down, all the way down to your tootsie toes to the back of your heels Drawing it in with your light, the breath. Drawing it in from the top of the head, the crown. And it shoots down that central column of light that moves all the way down to your base. It shoots out from your hands into your heart as it moves past your shoulders and elbows. It moves past the hips past the knees, down to the ankles and feet. Causing a ripple 
and a wave of ignition sparking up. The true sovereign being that you are. Dissolving any density inside of you. Breathe in that light now. Let go with the breath. Let the body do what it's got to do if it needs to twitch. Then a man moisture no ye weena, ye a morgan or an aina, then no roshan it on osha, ye a moran or on osha, ye a and are seeing deadash, ye a magrond or on back yet, ye a macro shon grotona, ye a na ashan egran ala. Dan no borum bagrisiesh, Giamba crosha gietish, Giamba crado roshan giet, Amba rasha gietish. Let's mm. draw that light in and feel the expansion of your heart. Move that energy down the spine. <sighs> Relaxing the shoulders. Siamo mami nana. Breathe into the back of the ribs. No thought, just observation. Just witness the body as it opens up and expands your inner light. Using your breath, bringing that light in and expanding it out. Siak your maran. Push through the thoughts, identifying the lack of inability to do so. Remember. You are more than you could imagine. You are not this body, you are not this mind. The senses come in with the touch that feels like you are the body, with your senses. It is all an illusion as you step inside to ignite the heart a little deeper and connect higher to the higher mind to see it from that perspective of the soul. Not in body mind, but the mind of the all that is, the connection to everything. And it may be a little woo woo for some, but that's all right. You will understand whether in this lifetime or next. It is not my concern whether you are or if you're not. Because you are exactly where you need to be. And that brings me peace with that understanding. For me to allow you to be the way you need to be. Without judgment. And for me to be the way I am in the evolution of my soul's journey is the only thing that is important to me from my perspective. Because I create my reality and you create yours. There is no victim here or perpetrator. It just is. It is a game, after all, isn't it? But we choose to whether we walk that path out of Maya, the illusion, into that sense of freedom, of being the creator, of knowing we are the creator of our reality. It goes beyond mind, thought, manifestation. 
it goes into the deeper depths of who you are as the creator that has created everything, everything around you, directly or indirectly from your perspective. You are everything. And it may be difficult for some of you to understand this. But as you strip back your belief systems into the trueness of understanding you, you start to see, unveil, unwrap, uncover the true reality in which we're living in. And if we hear the dog on the sofa, if we see something in sight, or we feel the clothes upon our back, it is a sensory perception of our reality in physicality. It is for the soul to experience And as you go deeper into that understanding and you push through the next bandwidth of availability, of next frequency levels of consciousness, there may be something new on the other side for you to understand, refine and unpack, to normalise within the human mind as you connect and upgrade That is the ascension. It is the human rising to understand all that you are beyond physicality. Transcending mind, thought, physicality, logic, beliefs, identifications. Back to oneness, back to all that is. Without duality, everything just is. And the refinement of that as you journey on inward ignites, refines. <laughs> I have created the availability to manifest a drink of coconut water. And I did that by going to the shops getting in my car and going and buying it. But someone else went and got some coconuts from a coconut tree and then got all that water. Somebody bottled it and put it in a bottle for me, for it to go to be picked up. We all create everything around us and we all use what everybody's created. Somebody made this glass, somebody brought this forward, the drink. We all work together to build our relationships of our creation. And everybody plays their part. So what's your part? Your part is to remember who you are. And to do what you feel really draws you in to do. Whether it is picking coconuts or making glasses or whether it is assisting others in some shape or form, you are being of service. You are contributing to the wholeness of this reality. For the onus is on you is to remember that you are divine. That you create whether you go in and buy as an energy exchange or whether you create with a pen and paper or content on a video stream. You are the creators, aren't you? So what is it that you want to create? Contemplate on that a while, not from mind, but how it makes you feel to do things that gives you joy. Duh. So... Easter Friday, isn't it? It's about completion. It is about remembrance. 
and the energies today really support it, whether it is in the now of the 15th or whether it is in a time pocket, tap into that energy of igniting the soul within to be the creator you came here to be. Mm. So sit with that a while and contemplate and see your blocks. And cultivate your light by anchoring it in, by visualising. And use this video again if you feel that you want to have a hand, a guidance. But ultimately, it is only you that can actually see that with inside of yourself as you go a little deeper. Mm. So, I'm going to leave you there with that wonderful little video. I will see you tonight, or if you watch me on replay, have a little look at all my other videos. And thank you so much for joining me, as I said in the beginning of this, um, this content today, in this now moment. And I'm wishing you much love coming from Nicola here. And Nicola means victory for the people. I was so astonished when I heard that. And indeed, it is victory for the people as they start to remember and the remembrance into their light. <laughs> Wonderful! I feel so empowered. God, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't, know what, I don't know what I can do to actually... I don't know. Maybe go try and climb a tree or something. I don't know. I could calm myself down. I feel really sort of like, ooh, lit up like a great big light bulb. <laughs> um... Yeah, check out all the details below, as I said before. Uh, fabulous stuff. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it. All a bit overwhelmed, actually. Cool. Ooh. <laughs> See you soon. Bye.